Allen and Alana Wadley grew up in British Columbia and are used to this magnificent wilderness. It was once their playground, but now it's their place of work, and they're pretty confident they can outsmart anyone who challenges them in this area. We know this bush like the back of our hands. We know the rivers like the wrinkles in our skin kind of thing. Like, we know this land. He does it. He's new to this. Kaylee and I together especially are very driven, and we feed off each other and each other's energy, and uh, I think that's really going to help us along the way. He's just coming in for our land. Of course he's not going to catch us. Man Tracker is a highly trained and well-experienced forensic tracker. Bit of a track right here. He's confident that he can beat Kaylee and Alana, no matter how cocky they are. It's his job, and his reputation is on the line. They're young, they're in great shape, they're good in the bush, and uh, they can probably cook, too. Kaylee's a college basketball star and isn't afraid of anything. Our population in our area is real low. It's not very civilized. So I feel like we just grew up being a part of the bush. I mean, my dad's been a guide outfitter since I was born. So we've always been out in the bush, out in pristine areas. She shot a bear in self-defense when she was just 17. It was in our carport. So I'd gone into the house and went to come out. And I grabbed the gun just you know, for safety, and it came at me. So I had to shoot it. Alana enjoys keeping fit with yoga, but she's also an experienced guide and fly fisher who knows the bush like the back of her hand. I work outside, I live outside basically. It's my life every day. And out in this wilderness and this bush and working in camps and lodges and guiding outfits, it definitely can be dangerous. There are many predators. Uh, wolves this year have been extremely dangerous. They've been taking down dogs left, right, and center. And bears are always something to look out for. You're really taking a risk anytime you go outside, but you just have to be aware and, and know, know, your, you know your area, I guess. The prey have a map and a compass. Man Tracker will have neither, but he has local guide Jake Guiguerre to help him out. Well, the landscape's really brushy, lots of thick stuff. It can be steep and rugged. The mountains are unforgiving throughout this country. Lots of mixed terrain. It's challenging. Jake also grew up around this area. In fact, he learned a lot of his guiding skills under the tutelage of Kaylee's dad, so he can give Man Tracker some insight into the prey as well as guide him across the terrain. I don't know Alana, but I know Kaylee well. Kaylee is outspoken, kind, cocky, and yappy all in one sentence. It would seem that they know each other. If she thinks that she's going to get away, she's got another thing coming. We're going to kill him. He's going to get thrashed in this bush, and we're going to be at the finish line. Kaylee and Alana are ready for some local rivalry. Just a little something for Man Tracker. Two kilometers away, the trackers await the flare, which starts the chase. There it is. There it is. Let's go catch us a The hunt begins in the High Alpine, just west of Smithers, British Columbia. The prey have 36 hours to reach a logging road that leads off the mountain, but only they know where the finish line is located. OK, we want to go in. Here? Um, well, right at the beginning, we didn't want to be on the trail. We figured that Man Tractor would be kind of keeping to the trail a little bit. We thought the best thing to do would be to cut right through the bush and try to make time. Swampy moss is good, though, as long as you don't rip it up. Hey? Don't rip it up. Oh, crap. Oh. This side of the road. While Kaylee and Alana have chosen to walk through the bush, the trackers have been climbing up the mountain towards the direction of the flare, when suddenly they spot the girl's note. Man tracker and sidekick. So a couple of guys, Jake, a true fan. This man tracker guy, Nemesis, till the end. Jake, our dear, so handsome and nice with you as a sidekick. This chase is a slice. A man from Alberta, is that even fair? Plus you're rusty and old, like losing your hair. They know me fairly well. <laughs> Let the games begin. I hope you can handle the bugs. Catch you later, old farts. A and K kisses and hugs. 
<laughs> Don't need to follow a track for the first bit. Nope. These guys might just bugger off the trail here a little bit. Uh, we'll need to cut a track for I'll just listen. You'll hear her voice yeah, and pretty soon here. As far as a help or a hindrance, I think it probably helped me with Jake and Kaylee being good friends because he knew what to expect from her. He knew she would talk a lot and what type of games she might play. Swamp, swamp. Get higher, Kaylee, because there's a trail all the way along that he'll be able to see that we took. Right, so. Look at our track. Shoot. We have to keep our noise down across the lake so that the sound doesn't travel over. Yeah. Don't do it here before we've seen her. When in doubt, wave fly through it. There's a huge bog right there we can't cross to let's make the horses disappear. Yeah. A horse tracking in this is going to be impossible. He might know where we're headed. But he's not going to be able to get in here. Kaylee, let's go through this way so that it's too clear up there and he'll be able to see us. Uh huh. We should take a compass bearing when we get a bit through just because we're going off course. Sounds good. They could have been on the other side of that lake, eh? Yeah, I could have. Sound carries across water really well. That would put them up on top of that. Little mound right there. Let's keep going, see if this trail winds around and see if we can get on that hill over there. Let's take a bearing right here. How are we doing? We're still here. Okay, let's keep going. There's no way man tracker can get to them through the boggy terrain around the lake. But to get on course and head towards the finish, the prey have to get to the other side of the road. There they go, right there. Thought you were going to make it hard. Oh, they're there, they're there. Right by this. Less than an hour into the chase, and the girls have practically run straight into the tracker's path. They've gone back into the bush to hide and avoid one of the earliest captures in man tracker history. Oh my gosh! Buggy! Buggy! Oh. But you can't hide. We can get right through here. We need to find a place to hide out until we get past. Okay. It's in here. As soon as they got over that, we were screwed because we can't get around them. We can't get over it now. We're just going to have to keep ourselves between that one falls going to be protecting us for a little bit. If I'd had my rope, I could have roped both of them. She had the cat that under the bed look. <laughs> hey, <Bob. laughs> That ought to keep their heart rate up for a little while. Well, as far as adrenaline goes, I was fairly pumped. Anytime you get to, to see your prey and actually get close to them, it's a great rush. <laughs> the look of fear and disbelievement on their face was priceless. So all the stuff they had wrote about me 
on that hunk of paper, I think that just kind of blew out the window because they, uh, they couldn't believe that we were that close that soon. We gotta go down to that road. We can't go down. So we're just gonna go northeast. Frank, it's gonna take us longer. That's east. This is east. This is northeast. Right. Our first encounter with Man Tracker completely kicked us in the butt. It was like a 5 a.m. alarm. We had to dash into the thickest bush, and we were so unprepared. Once that happened, that meant game mode. You know, we've seen them. We're here. Okay, now we're ready. They're old, and they're guys. Come on. Can't believe he caught us up fast. <sighs> Didn't you think guys we're gonna make this hard? Oh damn, what an idiot. I hate him, I hate him. I hope they're staying to that side, but we gotta watch real close to see if they cross. It'll be a while going through that bog and thick stuff. Watch the back of Kaylee. I thought they'd come back across the road. So we rode down the road for maybe a kilometer. Didn't see any tracks of them coming across or anything in the ditch, anything unusual. We'll go back in here. So just for the hell of it, I turned left at an open place and we rode into the trees a couple of hundred yards and see if anybody was in there or see if we could hear something. I have no idea where we are right now. That road screwed me up so bad. The girls thought they knew the area like the back of their hand, but they're lost. We're what? Right here? Yeah. We've got tracks here along the edge of this little puddle here, and they're pretty small tracks. This sucks. Uh, like, I don't get it. I think the ridge is not an option anymore. I think we should change direction. OK, well, get low. There's so many little ponds and can't Being lost is one thing, but hearing man tracker right behind them is quite another. disappeared over a, a damn cliff right there. And we couldn't follow them down that thing, and it was way too thick to do it anyways. But it was kind of strange that they were going almost back the way they had come. So whether they got messed up from us spooking them the second time, or whether they were wandering in circles or what, I don't know. But they were kind of going the wrong direction, according to what they'd been doing all morning. Lana? Yeah, OK. Get up here. Well, it's hard when you're forced to navigate under the pressure because if we see them, we're going to book it without looking at the compass, without looking at the map. We're just going to go where is the best place to go. That's what screwed us up. So far, the prey's path has been erratic to say the least, but it could prove to be beneficial as it's taking them to places the trackers can't go on horseback. We can't keep going through that thick. Just going to pull every frickin' shoe off we got. Does this road end here, or does it keep going? It ends here, and then there's another trail that connects. We just have to go up that hollow. So cut left. The bush that we went through was, it was hard. You're getting trees in the face. <sighs> Kaylee, I'm going to kill you. I'm serious. Falling through rocks, going down 60% incline cliffs, climbing back up them after you've just gone down it. And we definitely endured some serious bruises and scrapes from that. The ravine was definitely what saved us. We knew that there was no way the horses were getting through that underbrush and down that steep ravine, so that was our only saving grace. We had no, no intentions of going through these huge canyons, and I think we hit three 
after that encounter, and that's how we lost them and gained our separation, I guess. This might be sketchy. Um, let's go across. Not up anymore. Not up back. Then you're left. The trackers have no idea where the girls have gone, so they stay high, trying to catch a glimpse of their prey. We're going to have to rely on seeing them because we can't track them in this stuff. I doubt if they've gone through here. They've probably gone up and around. The temperature in the high alpine has drastically dropped due to an impending storm, so the trackers gear up ready to face the brutal change in weather. Right up on the left, on the left one where it rolls up. See them, see them? Oh, yeah, there they are. Right up where we said we really weren't going to go. Hold up, let's see if we can see them. Do you see anything here? Trees. They're looking around. If we don't move, they won't see us. Trees. It's trees. What should we do? Cut down and over now. I'm quite impressed. They went exactly where I thought they wouldn't. You know, you see them going two different directions within three hours. They could be going anywhere. We really had to rely on another sighting to figure out where in the hell they were going. Let's just go. I don't want to stand around here like we're idiots. Come on. There's bad news for both parties as the storm is about to hit. The prey are at least two kilometers across the valley, whilst the horsemen can only ride around the top. And with the storm brewing, they all need to keep their wits about them. If we come down into that trail, we'll have these trees to get into right here. I don't see them anywhere. We were up in really open country, and there's peaks and plateaus surrounding us everywhere. And we were really careful to keep looking to see if Man Tracker was on this side or that side or wherever he was. But we had a hard time spotting him, and that made us even more <laughs> nervous because he could have been anywhere. Oh my god. This is so sketchy. This is so open. If you found a horse right here, you can cut us off in a second. Make sure we stick close to these bush. I'm really hoping that by you know seeing them and getting close to them three times early in the day that it's really messing up their heads. They're looking around every tree for me now, or maybe they're not paying enough attention to their navigation. If we are where I think we are, that means that there's a cabin up here. He has a dad used to squat in for years. It's right near the mine. Oh, we got some tracks there. Not very fresh. If it was a fresh track, it'd be shiny. If I step beside that, it's, it's got very crisp edges and shiny. Probably two days old. I think he's close. Let's book it. The girls decide to take a detour and head to a remote cabin for shelter. But to get there, they have a lot of ground to cover. I don't want to say that we're out of danger yet because I feel like he could be lurking around any corner. I don't know if not having seen him for a long time is a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know if he's way off course or if he's right behind us, just waiting to jump out. Oh, yeah, it's an old creek. I think it might be an old waterfall, too. Ah! Well, that's not connected. The rocks is this OK, so you think that's the best way up? We're so freaking covered right now. This is weird. Really, it's going to be sketchy now. Lana. Lana. Oh! Oh! This is the most perfect stuff to use for that. Oh. Oh, there they are. See them? Yeah, there they are, right there, walking in that brush. They're just skirting through there. We're going in such a direction to what I thought they'd be doing. Oh, there he is. What? There he is. Oh, my gosh. Keep going. You can probably see us right here. I think we should drop over one more. I think so, too. Okay. I just don't want him to see where we're going. 
Now the prey are battling against rain and slippery conditions, as well as the relentless trackers. shelter in this mountain. You got a bucket full of weather moving in on us here. There's nowhere really up here to get out of this. This rain is gonna split those horses. They gotta go down now. They they're not gonna stay up high like this. They gotta get down in the shelter with those horses, I think. I mean they're what three kilometers back. They're not gonna get us anyways, so they're gonna go back down right now. And thank goodness Kaylee has the knowledge of boat horses enough to know where they can and cannot go. Otherwise I would be completely stumped in that respect. We'll get back down off of this rock and Find a decent place to camp with some grass. You're gonna have one cold, miserable night up on this mountain. We made it through day one. Uh, and we're pretty stoked. We're pretty, we're pretty excited, we're not gonna lie. We're when, pretty excited. When he ran into us those first two times earlier on in the day, like first thing, we thought we had it done. We were screwed, we thought we were screwed. We thought we'd I never mean, put the distance in between us exactly, again. And exactly. now, we're there. <laughs> Come on, you're like, bring it on tomorrow, man tracker. We thought he was supposed to be the man from Snowy River. What is he doing? Bring Come on, retreating. On. What a, uh, 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 uh. See, uh. we're good, we're good to go. Let's go to the cabin before we freeze. The storm has dictated the end of day one for the trackers. The horses aren't happy and Man Tracker has no choice but to call it a day. The prey are safe for tonight. Nice and surprising. A little more rustic, but you know. Hey, I've been sleeping outside. Cold little oh. snowmobile cabin. Look at it in here. Sweet. We were tired, we were wet, we were cold. We had a cabin, we had a wood stove in there. We were on top of the world, right? Oh. Yeah. There's a lot of steep country out there. They're close by that brush, too. Those little those get into that. They gotta be hurting a little bit. got the advantage of we had a really good night's sleep. Um, he was out in the tent in the wet and the cold with his boot horses, and we uh -huh. scored. We scored big time. We're ready for today. Definitely ready for today. When we got up in the morning, we went back up into the high country. We, we were headed over to where we'd last seen them, but we were trying to stay out of sight, trying to stay down low in case they were up high. The trackers have had a long ride to get back up the mountain, with only a vague idea of where the prey spent the night. But the girls are already on the move, hoping to cross the wide open ground before Man Tracker starts his day. Isn't this where we came from yesterday? The girls head across the rocky expanse of the mountain top, and they start to feel confident. No way. There they are. There they are. Up one side and down the other. We don't want them to see us yet. We want to see which way they're going to go. As we topped out on one little rise there, we could see them. But they were going exactly back the way they had come the night before. So, you know, there again, we're totally confused. Where is the finish line? The trackers may be confused, but the prey know exactly where they're heading. They sacrificed a direct route to reach shelter for the night, and now they're getting back on course. Okay, we want to go southeast. No. Southwest. No, southeast, southeast. Okay, then we want to go almost directly down. Well, we're kind of sitting up here like a pimple on an elephant's ass. You know, there's nothing to hide behind. All we can do is kind of stay to low ground, get up and around things. And they're kind of stuck out in the open. They're three quarters of a mile away. They're closer to big trees than we are. But once they get in the big trees, we can kind of make a loop around and go like hell and get back down in front of them. This trail's open right here. Um, no, let's follow the ridges here. Can't see them staying down in that crap. 
No, it's way too tangly to be down in there for the rest of the day. But the trackers have well and truly underestimated these two. Oh, my gosh. There's nothing to grab onto here. If we go down low, is there any kind of openings or anything down in there? Nothing good for the horses. Tell me if the rock's coming, hey? I will. Just walk sideways down and dig your heels in. The footing was really bad. The first step that you take, you know, there's no going back because you can't stop. And it was grabbing onto anything you can to not go head first. And we have to go straight down and straight up because we don't want to go around or else, you know, he's going to cut us off somewhere. And that's the big threat. <sighs> We're freaking hardcore. The trackers decide to take a chance. You'll stay up reasonably high. Hopefully undercover and see if we can get a glimpse of them now and then. If we can figure out where they're coming to, we'll uh, we'll set up an ambush and scare the crap out of at least one. Well, this is uh, this is kind of a steep and long run, eh? Oh, it's not connecting. Okay. okay. It's gonna feel so good to get on flat ground. I'm tired. I know. It's a little hard on these poor little legs. 50% incline. Oh, my God. Let's keep going, Cam. Almost to the top. Bad sign. We kind of got in a place where we could watch and see most of the open country around us, but still stay hidden. I just heard something. Well, we'll go up a little closer. We got the wind behind us. We gotta be careful. I just think he's smarter than to be on this ridge. I just cannot see him getting on this ridge. Because if he did, the game would be over, right? Like, we'd have him in the bag kind of thing. All right, let's roll. OK, so let's be really quiet, just in case he is up here. Come on, old man, where are you? If they've gone straight down in the direction they were going across that creek, we're going to have to go up and around the creek and down the other side. The only way to get her home. Yeah. The only way for us to get around. Mm -hmm. Maybe we start, ought to start looking for him if he's not finding us yet. No kidding. We'll have to get on top of that plateau and give a nice little wave, maybe a couple calls. I think we need to bring it on a little bit, because he's not bringing it. The last five or 10 minutes, we've been trying to find an ideal spot to set up an ambush. <laughs> and we don't know where they're coming from. We know they're down in there somewhere because they haven't come up, they haven't gone the other way. And hopefully it's open enough and we're concealed enough we'll be able to pick a spot, get really close and nab one of them. See him? Nope. Let's keep going then. I just want to see him. It's times like this when you set up an ambush, you rely on your horse more than anything. Yep, we're ready now to start right there. Probably about 50, 75 yards. Kaylee and Alana are proving to be two of the toughest fugitives Man Tracker has ever faced through some of the roughest terrain imaginable, but he still managed to catch up on them. Down, 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 down. 
just been caught. All of a sudden, the horse came through the bushes and nearly stepped on Kaylee, and she leapt up and ran in the opposite direction. And by the time I got up, he was right on top of me, and I fell backwards, and there I was, <laughs> captured. I hopped into a bush right beside beside them, and I heard Man Tracker say, Alana, you've just been captured in my whole body just sunk, like, uh, it was awful. Being captured, there definitely was a bit of a relief because you're feeling like it's over, you don't have to run anymore. I actually had a smile on my face because <laughs> it was just such an experience to have him come up on me like that. I goddamn near stepped on her. Manicrackers right here with a sidekick. Alana just got caught. I'm a little bit upset about that. I'm gonna try and hide out for a bit here. I think he ran over her with his horse. So his butt needs to be kicked right now. He's gonna get him, man. The biker. There's no way he's gonna catch me. Kaylee had actually turned and gone back the way she'd come. We uh, we couldn't get to her at that point. We had to make sure Alana was all right and get her pointed in the right direction to get picked up. We knew that Kaylee was on her own now, and she might travel a little quicker, but she might make a few more mistakes. Kaylee's knowledge of the tough terrain is in her favor, and it could rob him of the catch. I'm gonna go down the mountain. Hopefully they can't get me there. Yeah, she's gonna be sneaky now. I really have no clue where I am right now. Now Kaylee has to find the finish with no compass. I need to cut up. I need to cut this way around this ridge. And there's a lake up over this ridge, and the creek will take me right to the stream. Hopefully, I can find it. Really hoping. Guess we'll find out. I needed to get to the trail. So I was trying to tell with the sun, trying to tell with plateaus where I was, what direction I needed to go. I knew if I had the trail in sight, I'd be okay. The horses know there's something down there. We're going to kind of wander out wherever the easiest wandering is going and see if we can hear something in that bush, get over to the trail and get up on that high ground and cover all them open spots. It's gonna be boggy right here. Come on, buddy. That's what I thought. That's a little deep. That area is so sketchy. I think I need to drop over this ridge. High country though. You can get me easy. It's time for Kaylee to take some serious risks. Ah, the trail. Which is good. Good spot to look around. I think that they've already been through here. 
it rained last night, and they're pretty fresh. There she goes. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on up, Jake. You went over the frickin' edge like the man from Snowy River. Frickin' gave us a slip, didn't she? The good part is she went, uh, she's cliffed out on three sides. She's gonna have to either come way back up there or back up where she just came down. And it's a long ways around that bottom country. Yeah, there's some steep over there. We might as well go around and sit up top and see where the hell she goes. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is uh, get back up here, actually. I kinda, kinda like having them close. Maybe uh, stick by them, and there's no way they can get me on this hill. I'm feeling pretty cocky right now. You know, Jake was feeling a little bit cocky. He said, I'll take my horse anywhere, Kaylee. But I would love to see him take this, that horse down this ridge. Would have loved it. I'm gonna have to get a scoot on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and around get to the edge of that cliff over there. Kind of peek over and see if we can see that little trail. Get a good viewpoint? Yeah. I'd rather run out of time than get caught by that old man. I'll tell you that. Guys, come on! This is taking too long! We've been waiting for you. I can wait all day, boys. Are you at the finish line? Nah. Then you haven't got us beat yet. Later, boys. No, she's not going down. She's going to go down and across. I'm going to assume that they're going to think I'm either going to go back down, but still cut around, or go this way. I think I need to double back to hit the tray off. She's gonna go down and across and back up, so we're just gonna go over here and watch her come up. I think I need to double back. Try it anyways. I'm safe on this ridge, so Let's see what happens. Man Tracker had said, well, are you gonna take off back down this mountain that you just climbed? I said, oh no, I don't wanna do that. And I think he kind of thought that's what I was gonna do. I was gonna go back down. It was my only choice. So I slid down a little bit and started running around, lost him in my sight, and immediately doubled back. The trackers stay high, waiting for Kaylee to come out of the forest below. But she's made a clever move and is now back on the trail right behind them. Doubling back is probably my best bet. Looks like they haven't found me yet. They can look on this trail. They, they would have figured it out by now. They'd be asking me. <laughs> They're not. Let's hope I make it. I really want to beat them. Man Tracker is beginning to get frustrated. He could never have predicted how tough this chase would be. Oh. It's getting thicker, Jake. Kaylee still has over two kilometers to go before she reaches the finish. I just wanted to be in a bed. I wanted to, I wanted to be in a lake. I wanted to be anywhere but running. I either wanted to puke or pass out and trying to talk myself through it. Alana, I really want you right now. I'm gonna like to have you here right now. I know you'd be, we'd be keeping each other, taking each other in the butt. It'd be really nice to have you. But, you're gone, you're gone, you're done. I really wish you were here. She's down there somewhere. She could have scurried along and then took off up that, that drainage. And there's a connector that comes up. We ain't going down there after. The horsemen finally give up on the ridge. They've completely lost track of Kaylee. We kind of wandered back 
in the direction she would have had to come to get past us. It took us right back to the road, and we thought, OK, there's enough tracks here that she is running down the road. Tracks right there. So we took off down the road. This road is like Mary Poppins' bag. It never ends. <laughs> I'm really worried right now. Come on. I should be running it. for me you know it was so cool first of all that I could just fall over when I got there that's all I wanted to do was fall over <laughs> it was so relieving just thinking I've lost them they're not chasing us anymore they're not after us anymore we did this we're we're here we're done it, it was such a cool feeling such a relief I can't believe we freaking did it I want him I'm waiting here for him you better come oh my god when she dropped off the edge of the cliff, she uh, she turned around and went left and looked back and made sure we saw her and then dropped out of sight. Well, I didn't know at that point if she was going to keep going left or if she would just turn and come right and try to get behind us. We went up a little higher and we sat there and we never saw her again. We got on the road and came around a corner and uh, there's Kaylee standing there doing a, some kind of a chicken dance. Fairly proud, ready to... Uh, Rub it in our face, I guess. Congratulations. Yeah, good job, man. Tell You're on job. the tail. Good job, Kaylee. Okay. <laughs> Buddy. <laughs> oh, for that leg up. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do it quick before she heals up. Maybe in a couple of weeks. <laughs> It'll be sore for a month. She deserves the win. She uh, she busted her butt to, to lose us, go to where we couldn't go. It seemed like she always had an out. She was always near a cliff, always near some thick stuff. Very, very smart in the bush, because it, it's tough when you're on the run to always keep track of where you are and what's around you and where you're going to go. Too damn young. We need older women that power out a little quicker. Who can catch legs like that? I could definitely met his match. Well, that's not connected. I think he underestimated both of us big time, which was uh, his biggest mistake. Oh, yeah, we did it. We did it. We have to get up the whole way. The whole way. You guys look so close.